Yeah, alcohol. Yeah, I like alcohol. Uh, I've had a long relationship with it. It's, uh, it's my drug of choice. Um, yeah, I like alcohol, but I could never be an alcoholic. I can't afford it because uh, I like decent whiskey, you know. Um, a double malt that's been matured for 20 years in the barrel uh, and then another 10 years in my stomach. Yeah, lovely. Um, yeah, but um, I couldn't... No, I, I couldn't be an alcoholic because, one, I couldn't afford it, and, two, I don't like the taste of um, alcohol first thing in the morning. You know, you get these alcoholics, and they've got a two-litre bottle of white lightning, and they go down behind the advertising hoarding at six o'clock in the morning, scoffing that, uh, which they bought for 50p at the, um, at the market, and, you know, at the grocer's. Probably run by Asians. They don't drink, do they? You know, it's against their religion. So there's a bit of a bit of a contradiction there, really. But anyway, but uh, no, so I can't be an alcoholic. Now, first thing in the morning, um, cup of tea, mm -hmm. cup of tea, and two biscuits. Just the two. Don't ever do it. You know, don't go mad, because um, that's just enough, isn't it? Because I, uh, just enough, not too much because I didn't get where I am today without having just enough, not too much. But that's enough about my sex life. Um, but yeah, a nice cup of tea. Because I used to have uh, two digestive biscuits, but um, I've had to switch now, because um, being an old man, I, I've got this, um, this problem with my guts. I haven't got any. <laughs> hey? Uh, no, and so I've had to, uh, yeah, cut, to, cut down on certain types of foods, and things, like skins, potato skins and skins of tomatoes. I don't like tomatoes as much anyway. Pips and tomatoes or cucumber, you know, pips. Right? Pips and seeds and you know, skins. And um, with, the, uh, with the digestives, yeah, it was the bits of sort of oaty bits that were in there. Hard to digest. They hang around in the gut and irritate your gut. And I get irritated enough as it is these days, you know. The missus will tell you that. Um, so no, so now it's, uh, I've had to have two rich tea now. Yeah, yeah, a cup of tea, two rich tea with a cup of tea. Yeah, it sounds all right, doesn't it? Yeah, it's fair enough. Because, um, of course, if they cut our tea off, we'd be knackered, wouldn't we? They don't want about cutting off the oil or the gas or food supplies. If they cut our tea off, we'd be knackered. We'd be on our knees in no time. So, uh, yeah, a nice cup of tea first thing in the morning. Uh, of course, um, then, yeah, the alcohol you can do about 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, that's all right. Not too early. Because you're doing 11s, aren't you? So, uh, some alcohol and some crisps. Got to have some, got to have a snack with it, haven't you? Got to have a snack. Yeah, nice. And that's the thing they're saying it about when you're hot. Oh, you know, drink some water, or cold water, or some juice. Juice is too thick in the throat, isn't it? Or squash, or milk. A hot cup of tea. Is that iced tea? Mm -hmm. What's that? Or a hot cup of tea, that'll cool you down. No, I've tried all these things. Always. Now, the thing, um, when I'm hot and I've really got a thirst on, the things that I've always found, the thing I've always found best is a nice ice-cold pint of lager. Hmm, lovely. Very nice. Or maybe two, you know. It's, um, well, it's 11 o'clock, you're all right. And in the evening, you know, you can have some wine, in, some fizzy wine, uh, some spirits. Some beer, very nice. You know, help you relax with your dinner, watching some telly, or maybe writing. You know, do some writing, and uh, of course it helps you sleep, doesn't it? Very nice. Because mm. I like my sleep. Mm, I do, yeah. So uh, alcohol, good, you know. Yeah, juice bad. Uh, you know, there's, uh, but don't worry about it. You know, um, don't worry about it. Have a drink. <laughs> If you're worried about your alcohol consumption, then uh, stop worrying about it and just have a drink, you know, relax. Hmm, lovely. Cheers.